Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. Today we're in Kannapolis, North Carolina, and we're at Concord Engines, talking with owner Tony Palladino. And this right here between us is a 5.3 liter LS, and it's our engine of the week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade One, L-Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Tony, thanks so much for uh, having problem. us here in the shop today. Pleasure to have you guys. You know, excited to see all the different things that you guys have going on. Uh, but one of the platforms that you guys uh, have a couple different options available for is the 5.3 LS. Uh, and you got an example here uh, from a truck. And we'd love to know a little bit more about what you guys do on an engine like this. Well, right, this is probably, um, this is the 05 uh, Chevy Tahoe. Um, right before they went to the DOD AFM, uh, which we, we delete them on a lot of engines, but this one here, will, so it'll be a nine AFM engine, uh, nine VVT engine. Uh, and it's just a straightforward standard rebuild on this, you know, reman the engine completely. Uh, you know, uh, we take out the plugs, um, take out the plugs, wash them, uh, magna flux them, make sure there's no cracks, check all the holes, make sure nothing's busted off uh, uh, or something that's deeming it not rebuildable. Uh, bore and hone it um, and then, uh, you know, turn the crank. We've already got the crank installed in this, it's already been plastic aged. It's uh, ready for the pistons and stuff, which we have over here done. Um, but uh, um, we'll get to that a little later. The camshaft's in, um, again, stock camshaft for this one. Um, you start messing around with camshafts and uh, with a fuel injection system, you have to do tuning. So um, I don't think this guy wants to tune. Uh, so uh, we're just going to build him a good, reliable truck engine so he can get another 200, 250,000 miles on his vehicle. Yeah, excellent. Now, like I said, uh, this is a stock version of what you guys do, but you have a couple other levels of where this build can go. You want to talk a little bit about that? We can, we can. Um, we offer the stock build and we have uh, what we call a street fighter. Um, and depending on, um, depending on a lot of things, they'll make anywhere 380 to 420 horse. And when I talk about meaning, you know, what kind of induction system they put on it, uh, injection or carburetor. Um, Cause a lot of people don't know, but you can run these off a MSD 6014 box and a square bore flange, um, you know, like Holly intake. Um, and they run extremely well carbureted. Um, so a lot of the hot rodders, street rodders like that version of a street fighter. It's a good, a good version for them. Um, and then we also go to the next level, which is the Mighty Mouse. And we've gotten up to 400 or 565 horse out of that. Um, again, depending on what's bolted on after the build. Um, so they usually average with a carburetor, they usually average about 525 horse. So Tony, if you could, with a, a typical street fighter, you know, again, what, what are some of those components over, you know, up and over stock that you put into that uh, typically? Well, um, the biggest difference between a stock engine and a street fighter engine is really gonna be, um, it's one of them ones uh, that more of a economical build, you know, uh, something that a lot of guys can do. Uh, you, can, you can retain the stock crankshaft, you can t retain, uh, we like to use the uh, Gen 4 rod, okay, for the performance builds, because they're bushed. Um, and you can retain the hyperutectic piston, um, so you can, fairly cheaply, you can build the bottom rotating assembly. Um, the camshaft is naturally where you're making the power in the cylinder heads. So we do some performance work to the cylinder heads uh, and uh, different cam, valve springs, um, you know, and. That usually takes care of them. Um, naturally, we'll. I like to put a HP series bearing in the mains for them, and a HP series for the rods on any of the performance builds. Yeah. Kind of get away from the standard, uh, uh, like the. I like to use the King SI bearing, silicon impregnated bearing. Real good bearing for street use. You know your everyday use. You start twisting these things up. You need a little something better. Yeah. Um, that seems to work real well with these. Um, we sell a lot of them. Yeah, and then uh, again, then you said Mighty Mouse is even another level above that. Yeah, what Mighty are, Mouse what is. What are some of those differences? Um, connecting rods, forged connecting rods, forged pistons, um, 
uh, naturally camshaft, um, a lot more work done to the heads. Um, we bowl cut them. So you're doing really a blend of the uh, valve seat um, and fixing the collet area of the cylinder head. Um, the, we developed that engine under some rules, okay? So, because um, uh, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna say, well, why don't they just bolt on a good set of heads? Okay, that came about with the racetrack. Um, the owner of the racetrack called me, he wanted to start allowing LSN, so he wanted something affordable but durable. And so we had to retain that stock head to keep costs down. So that's why the Mighty Mouse was designed around that. Um, we did a lot of research um, and uh, found out that uh, really the stock head, the stock head, it didn't matter what we did to it, after about 535 lift, they stopped breathing no matter what we did on there. So uh, the Mighty Mouse does, uh, it does utilize a 525 lift cam. Um, it's split duration and uh, it's split duration, same lift but split duration. Uh, I really don't want to let go of the, it's a custom ground cam by Howard's. Okay. Um, I really don't want to let go of the duration numbers. Yeah, no, and that's all good. Lobe separation. We understand. But, right. Tony, anything else that we're leaving out about what you guys do on the 5.3 LS? We do do some work to the uh, main bearings. I'd like to keep that kind of under under wraps, but there is some there is some other tricks of the trade. Um, Can you say what, what that trick helps with? Well, it helps uh, get more oil flow to the rod burn. Okay. Very good. Because uh, a lot of people, I'm sure they're familiar with the CT525, and they're having a lot of problems with them chucking rods. And this issue has direct, it, they, every everything lines up right there. Uh, if they had the, if they did what I do, they probably wouldn't be chucking rods. Very good. Well, Tony, we appreciate you telling us a little bit more about the 5.3 LS here and uh, so as well as the guys. Street Fighter and the Mighty Mouse versions that you guys do. Guys, we appreciate all of you out there watching this episode of Engine of the Week. Make sure you're checking out what Tony's doing here at Concord Engines. And as always, make sure you're checking out EngineBuilderMag.com for more engine content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.